Hello, 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 hello. I think this is gonna be a little bit better. Out of all of this entire list that I've given you, chemistry makes you want to drop out. Chemistry makes you want to burn your notes, your book bag. Chemistry made me want to throw my, throw my MacBook, MacBook computer, computer in the fountain. In the fountain. I wanted to throw my computer away from taking chemistry. I made this exact same video last year in November. So if you wanna go back ahead and watch that video before you watch this one, I would highly recommend it. But if you wanna stick around and stay as well, cause I have some new information for you guys, some new updated content, new updated information that I found out. And I wanna go ahead and tell you guys about it as well. If you are a new subscriber, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the community that we're building over here. This is the channel where we talk about healthcare, CNA, nursing student content, where we've gained almost 4,000 400 subscribers and growing the goal is still five but you know we'll get there and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back y'all know what we do over here go ahead and like go ahead and comment go ahead and subscribe follow me on the gram at double i z l u r y and i don't want to make this intro too long but i want to introduce myself more so you guys know what's going on and if you're new you can really know really know really know really know what's going on um so we're talking about the prerequisite classes that you will need to get into your nursing program and i made a list last video about exactly what you would need to get into your nursing program and i'll read that list off to you guys right now this is not including any reading or math classes because that's you know that you'll take those your freshman year sophomore year or You'll take that really early, but this is the science-based classes you'll need to get in. This is AMP 1, Anatomy and Physiology 1, Anatomy and Physiology 2, Microbiology, Developmental Psych, Chemistry, and Nutrition. This is the exact list that I gave last time, but I want to add a little more information about it here in 2023 where new things are happening, new things are going on, and I want to update you guys on this right now. And I'll also give you guys my experience with these classes and basically just my advice so these are the classes that you will need for your program and i'm going to start with amp number one some schools make you take anatomy and physiology like separate but most schools are going to have them together most cases that i'm seeing these classes are taken together so it's a and one a and p one and a and p two it counts as one class and you have a lab as well so that's what three credits and one credit so four credit in total but three credits for amp lecture and then one credit for amp lab now this class for me was um like i told you guys i already have a degree like i didn't take any of these science classes initially i had to go back to school after getting a bachelor's and after working for about two years in order for me to even like start taking these prereqs over to apply for a program amp one the professor was really good at explaining the concepts when it came time for the lab she spent almost no time on it a lot of these science classes you will have to kind of teach yourself uh, of course you have lecture of course she's going to go over in the lab but if you are not studying big time out of class it will be a struggle absolutely it will be a struggle i learned that lesson in my first uh, anatomy and physiology one class i think i've like didn't do so hot on the first exam and i linked up with some more people in my class and we kind of just studied non-stop and i picked up some new studying habits because studying for business classes or um like kind of like uh, your like business or management classes is a lot different than studying for science classes a lot of the science classes you are teaching yourself um it's a little harder to get because science doesn't really change it evolves and it builds on each other but science is you know science and science has been the same since 1990 2000 you know like uh different parts of the body different systems of the body are not changing they're going to be consistent with the history of science but um this is definitely something that i had to get used to and learn so my studying schedule to pass anatomy and physiology one literally went from like i think i had class three times a week for anatomy and physiology one and i studied non-stop i woke up i went to class i got home i studied i went to work i made flashcards. this is definitely one of those like highly science-based classes and a lot of these classes will weed out people for the science base major so if you want to go to school for chemistry you want to go to school for biology you want to go to school for nursing um kinesiology these are classes that you will have to take and a lot of times if you don't pass this class and you realize that you kind of suck at 
that's studying for science and you don't like science, it weeds you out. It makes you change majors, get kicked out of whatever program that you're in. And you're just realizing like, you know, maybe science isn't for me, but we're nurses over here. We're potential nurses over here. And we don't want that. We want to continue moving forward. So my advice to you guys is study, study, study nonstop, get a good studying schedule. Um, go to tutoring. What else? Um, make flashcards and also at the same time see if your school has an open lab i didn't figure this out until second the second semester for um, my amp2 class is they have a lab that's open i want to say two to three days out of the week where you can kind of just walk in and look at the diagrams that you will be testing on no one told me this my first semester no one mentioned it my first semester and i feel like if i would have known I probably would have done a little bit better in my first semester. So that anatomy and physiology class is difficult. It's tough and you want to do well on it. You want to do well on it. You want to do well on it. So um, that's my advice to you guys. And that is my experience with that class. Let's move on to microbiology. So microbiology, um, is a class after you take basically like uh, intro to biology and I took that in like undergrad. So it was fun, even though I took like, microbiology after at a community college um microbiology wasn't too tough of a class um it was definitely more science based like the labs way more tough i would say um studying for it was a lot different than anatomy because you're not necessarily studying to remember certain things you're kind of studying to if i can remember i took it almost over a year ago actually my teacher focused really big on bacteria i'll give you guys this from my perspective my teacher focused heavily on bacteria heavily on e coli heavily on you know different cultures that we would be tested on but these labs were half virtual and half in person so when i did them virtual um it was more so just like repeating it over and over again we had a system where literally you clicking hands you're clicking hands and you're doing it you're doing the lab from the computer you're doing the lab from the computer this class was i would say at my school it wasn't as tough as anatomy and physiology was even though i've had some people tell me micro was the worst prerequisite but you already know my prerequisite i gave on the last video which is too tough the class is is extremely hard the class is extremely hard but microbiology wasn't too bad for me um it's definitely a class you have to study for as well but those labs are a lot more heavy than the labs that you will have in anatomy anatomy is more so just remembrance and just having the pure knowledge of it you know you're actually mixing things and dealing with different bacteria and chemicals in microbiology which makes it a little bit you know difficult if you are not present in class i don't know how people are doing this fully online no clue no clue at all but um this is definitely the one of the prerequisites that are that is considered like kind of heavy and kind of hard um all of these are hard don't get me wrong but microbiology is definitely something i hear a lot of people dislike to me it wasn't that bad of experience if you study you get a good you know study consistent schedule meet up with your teachers make sure these labs are in place i think i got like a b in that class also i got a b in anatomy and physiology one i got a b in microbiology now anatomy two a different story so we're moving on to anatomy and physiology two it's very similar to anatomy and physiology one except it builds off of each other so uh, you know you're dealing with major different systems in anatomy and physiology two that is your lymphatic system that's your digestive system that's your cardiovascular system you're dealing with different you're dealing with a more detailed uh, version of anatomy and physiology one now this one was a lot tougher but i actually did a lot better in the class i like the professor that i had a lot better <laughs> i never for anatomy and physiology two and anatomy and physiology one just like anything you have a better experience with a certain professor in a class than another professor in a class and i will always prefer my second teacher but you need to show up to lectures for these classes because it's super duper duper important anatomy and physiology two was not bad at all it um actually if i I can remember exactly um i had a huge study group for this class we met up like i swear like two three times a week because we had class about two times a week tuesday and thursday and we met up like every time somebody was on class we had a big group chat um they made the difference for me in this class 100 percent did a lot better labs went a lot smoother also knew about the open lab that they had about you know i think it was like wednesday thursday and friday and i went to that open lab every week to study <sighs> These prerequisites are no joke. You cannot show up and think that you're just going to pass by just barely studying. You need to focus in. You need to study. You need to find a habit that works for you. And 
that's just the end all be all. If you don't work in these classes, you will not get it. If you don't study and really prep yourself and get a schedule, you will not do well in it at all. It will be changing your major saying, oh, well, you know, I was a nursing major. I was trying to be a nursing major. And those prerequisites are so hard. They're so freaking hard. They're so freaking hard. So let's move on to the next one. The next one that I had was developmental psych. Absolutely loved this class. It's a psychology class. So it wasn't as tough. It wasn't as hard. But you do learn a lot and it's super interesting. And one thing I love about this class was my professor left a lot of room for like discussion because a lot of these developmental psychs, you know, issues or topics were subjective to, you know, what you believe or what you think. So he left a lot of room for discussion. And I remember sometimes like we would talk about a topic, whether it's like geriatrics or like just like the developmental state of like teens and adults and how the body grows and how the body you know different situations that occurs in life we spoke about and sometimes spoke about the entire class if i had to rank a developmental psych on a scale of like one to ten as of like one being not so hard and ten being hard i would say it's about four it's a little less than average it's one of the easier classes that i've ever taken in my life um but it was very needed it definitely opened the door for like you to think about a lot of different topics that you wouldn't think about before um this is definitely one of the easier ones you'll probably take like developmental psych with like chemistry or developmental psych with like an amp because it's really on the easier side granted great class and i needed it but it's definitely on the easier side so i'm not gonna spend too much time on that one i'm gonna move on to let's do nutrition next we should do nutrition next nutrition is also one of those classes where it's gonna break down the way that you think about food the way that you think about diet and some nursing programs require nutrition and some don't i applied to one school i want to say a couple um i want to say like about a year back where they didn't require nutrition at all for their prerequisites. They didn't even require chemistry also, which is what we'll talk about next. But they didn't require chemistry either for the prerequisites. Some schools will, some schools won't. Most of your private schools, I know, won't require all the classes that um, other schools might. Like, I've seen one school require organic chemistry. And that's like, why? I've never seen anybody, you know, require organic chemistry for a nursing program. Typically, it's just chemistry in the chemistry lab. But yeah, so the, uh, what was I at? What was I at? What was I talking about? Nutrition. The nutrition class wasn't hard at all. This is another one that you kind of just memorize and move forward with. Um, you got your different food groups, different ways that, you know, food affects the body, your carbs and what it breaks down into. Um, this was a summer class for me. Actually, I took it actually within like a month and a half. Um, super easy, super calm. Uh, definitely one that you'll probably take if you take it during the year, you'll probably take it with like a micro or even like a chemistry because it's just that easy. That and developmental psych was probably, if I had to rank those, two of the easiest classes that's in this list that you will have to take, but it's needed. Like you need these classes. So I'm going to move on to chemistry and then I'm going to talk about my studying habits. Now, <sighs> chemistry was the hardest prerequisite that I've had to take. I had to take it twice also. Um, by the way, I failed like terribly my first time and I retake with the same professor. Don't know why, because it was a mistake doing that. She was a tough cookie. She basically like saw me the first day of class and was like, oh, you know, you're trying to go for A this time. And I'm like, yes, I am definitely trying to go for A this time. But um, didn't even get an A. I think I got like a B in it. And I was sad. I almost got like a C in it. But I was super sad about that. And it was tough. It was tough. Chemistry is the in my opinion the hardest the hardest chemistry was tough chemistry was the worst prerequisite that i've taken out of all of this entire list that i've given you chemistry makes you want to drop out chemistry makes you want to burn your notes your book bag chemistry made me want to throw my macbook computer in the fountain jesus I wanted to throw my computer away from taking chemistry, but um, it's definitely a class that, you know, I wouldn't recommend that you take with any other hard class. Chemistry was on a scale of one to 10, one being not so hard, 10 being super difficult. It was a 12. It was a 12. The worst. I used to go home some time after lab or classes and just lay down, just lay down and go to sleep. In my opinion, some of the best nurses could have been nurses if they didn't have to take a lot of these prerequisites. Um, it's just tough. It's just overall tough. 
my advice, if you're taking chemistry, take it alone. Take it over the summer. You know, find the easiest professor because we all know we all college, you know, students. We all know that there are easier professors to take classes with, but they fill up quick. So you want to take it with a professor that, you know, it's just easier. It's just they have a better rating on rate my professor. This lady, I think she had like a like a 2.5 out of 5, but I mean, she was that, that was the best thing I could find at the time because I looked at other professors and they had like a 1 out of 5. So, um, and a lot of them said they would retake as well on rate my professor. So, I kind of just I kind of just went for it. I took a leap for it and couldn't even get the professor that I wanted the second time around. It was that tough. But um, if you're taking this class, I recommend you take it with a buddy. You take it with a partner. And if you can't take it with a partner, you make friends very early in the class. This is a class that required the most studying from me. It required the most studying from me. Um, this is a class that was, it was just a tough class. And if you're taking this class, you need to take it with somebody. You need to study. You need to get a handbook. You need to get a tutor. You need to pay an outside tutor to make sure that you pass this class because it's just that tough. I don't want to scare anyone. I just want to give you the real but yeah that's the list of the prerequisites that i have for you guys let me make sure i got all of them amp1 amp2 microbiology developmental psych chemistry and nutrition and then you have your reading and math classes as well but we weren't talking about that in this video um my studying habits and i'll break it down into five different things is i'm a social person y'all know that get a friend group get a friend group that you can study with that's tip number one tip number two is get a schedule for studying schedule for studying will make a difference in all of these classes all of these classes it'll make a difference get a schedule um, if you're working like a full-time job, make sure you're spending a, your free time studying for these classes. I work part-time while doing these classes, and I wish I didn't have to work <laughs> while taking these classes. Some of them were so hard. Um, my number three would be get a tutor. Tutors help. Um, if you find a good one, you could probably stick with that tutor. Tutors help. Tutors help. Tutors help. Number four. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. And I'm not talking about my channel. I'm talking about YouTube channels like Crash Course, YouTube channels like Simple Science. Um, there's a bunch of different, uh, I can't think of all of them right now, but it's a bunch of different videos that I've watched to break down chemistry for me, specifically chemistry. All these classes have, you know, a decent breakdowns on YouTube, but Crash Course is the number one channel on YouTube that helped me pass these classes. And this is a, you know, shameless plug to them. I'm plugging them in because they changed the game for me while I was taking these prerequisites. So four would be YouTube, 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 and five would be just buckle down and focus. A lot of times in college, like you're having having fun and I'm speaking to my college kids that went to a four year. I'm talking to my college kids that either went to a four year or didn't. You have a friend group, college is college everywhere. You're going to go to parties. You're going to go out. You're going to turn up. You're going to have fun and you need to be focusing in class as well, which is why a lot of nursing students and even like engineering students have no life in college or very little to no fun in college only because those classes are so hard and they require an immense amount of focus. But um, yeah, I don't want to make this video too long, even though I feel like I went off on a rant. We got new mics, we got new content coming. So um, I kind of just wanted to get this video out there because a lot of these kids are starting school now. And I feel like this is a prime time to let you know. This is a prime time to let you know. You need to be focusing. This is week one of school and going out, partying, and having fun, cool. But if you are in these classes, this is what you need to do, simply. You need to focus, you need to get a tutor. I don't know the order that I just gave, but this is the order. Make sure you focus in and um, happy first week of classes, first day of classes to everybody that is starting classes. And yeah, to all my potential nurses out there right now, CNAs, best of luck to you. You got this. And uh, yeah, if you want to see more, comment below. Let me know what's going on. The goal is 5,000 subs. And if you made it this far in the video, go ahead and give a like. Give a like, give a comment, give all that. I will see you guys on the next one. That's all I got for you on this video, and I will see you on the next one. Okay, okay, okay. Ah.